The 2018 NHL Draft is chock full of intriguing D-men with very specific strengths and weaknesses. Past Rasmus Dalin, who some scouts are calling the best defensive prospect since Victor Hedman, it's anyone's guess who the next best defenseman will be when it's all said and done. Guys like Adam Boakvist and Quinn Hughes look like elite offensive threats, but they have their question marks in their own right, and there's even more concerns for guys like Ryan Merkley, Kalen Addison, and Bodie Wild. With that being said, I'd like to introduce you to Evan Bouchard, the captain of the London Knights and the leading scorer in the OHL for defensemen. Don't get it twisted, he has his faults just like some of the other potential first round D-men and and I will address them, but what separates Bouchard from the rest of the pack is his tantalizing package of size and offensive ability that should have teams watching him closely. Let's start with his draft stock. In the preseason, most draft rankings had him pegged in the mid to late first round. Canucks Army did an industry consolidated ranking in September and had Bouchard 23rd. They did another industry consensus for January and Bouchard moved up 10 spots to 13, the most out of any prospect. At midseason, NHL Central Scouting has him ranked number 5 out of all North American skaters, Dober Prospects and the Hockey News has him ranked 9, and Craig Button of TSN has him ranked 10th. Two other scouts in the community that I enjoy their perspectives are Steve Kurianis from the Draft Analyst who has him at 19, up 4 spots from his preseason rankings, and Corey Pronman who has him at number 26, up from an honorable mention. Not everyone views Bouchard as a top half talent, but he's certainly been growing on the eyes of many. Getting into his stats now, let's talk about Bouchard's role on the team. London's currently going through a bit of a rebuild as they just recently shipped away the likes of Robert Thomas, Cliff Poo, Max Jones, and Sam Militic in early January. They also lost Ole Olevi, Victor Mete, and Brennan Crawley to the professional ranks, leaving Bouchard as the only remaining member of last year's top four. As such, the captain who took over for Robert Thomas after he was dealt has been heavily relied upon by the London Knights this season. He leads the entire OHL in even strength ice time per game with 22.23 minutes and he can often be found playing 30 minutes a night. He has a goals for percentage relative of 4.89 in the span as well. If London scores a goal, you can bet Bouchard was in on it. This year, London has scored 163 goals and Bouchard has contributed on 38.6% of them. Here we see his game by game point production and I'd like to point out two things. He's been very consistent this year, only going three games at most without a point. Also, since Sam Militic was traded on January 9th, the last of the big four to be dealt, Bouchard has 11 points in nine games starting at game 41 and has contributed on 40% of their total goals scored during this time. Evan Bouchard and Ottawa Senators prospect Alex Fermentin have been driving this rebuilding bus and it's no surprise that Evan Bouchard leads this team in points. So now looking at how he collects his points, 40 of them come at even strength, 40 of them are primary points, and he even has a shorthanded goal for himself. From the looks of it, he's been very clutch this season too with three OT winners. His shot, something I'll get more in depth with in a bit, has gotten him 18 goals, second most for D-men in the OHL, and his seven power play markers rank him third. He's also not riding a high shooting percentage like some other defensemen as he's converting on a healthy 11.11%. .11%. He's a high volume shooter as he leads all OHL defensemen in shots with 222, good for 4.53 shots per game. So now let's get into Bouchard's game and like all my other prospect videos, I'd like to add a disclaimer. I'm not claiming to be a scout, I don't have the ability to watch many games or these players live, and the odd chance I do it's on Sportsnet or a clip I can find on YouTube. So I rely on actual industry scouts that have seen these players countless times live and I value those opinions. I'm basically making a video research essay on these prospects if you will. Just get on with it! Okay, let's do this. The 6'2", 192 pound right-handed shot that's important these days possesses a rare combination of size, mobility, and offensive instincts. He has all the makings of becoming a coveted power play quarterback due to his vision in the offensive zone and his threatening shot that he isn't shy about using considering his 222 shots this season. Here on the power play, Bouchard receives the puck at the top and he sees the high forward in the shooting lane. He gets him to bite with the windup and then fakes passing off to his right to get this defender frozen as well. This sequence opens up a passing lane to the goal line for an easy pass to the slot for Cliff Poo. Bouchard barely had to move and it wasn't a flashy skillful play but is a great example of his vision, calm play, and ability to read a defense and then pick it apart. It's just the little nuances he does with and even before he gets the puck. Here he does the slightest fake that he's going to send the puck either on net or down low with his feet and then at the last second before receiving the puck he moves his feet and passes to his partner, giving his teammate more time and space. He doesn't telegraph anything and has that ability to keep defenders on their toes. Here Bouchard joins the rush and is found on the right wing with time and space. He freezes the defender and goalie with the threat of his shot and casually threads the needle to Pooh back door. Oh yeah, he's got a rocket of a shot as well. 
What will potentially hold him back from being an elite defenseman in the NHL is his first step acceleration. Skating is one of his strengths once he's in the offensive zone, but that doesn't require powerful strides. He's very agile laterally for his size, and he's quick skating backwards, but his explosiveness forwards needs work. From Brock Otten of OHLProspects.com, Bouchard is very mobile, and he's far from a poor skater. But I do wonder if his straight-ahead explosiveness isn't elite enough for him to be a top-notch offensive contributor 5-on-5 five five in the NHL. Being able to jump up in the rush is essential for a top defender in the NHL today, and while he certainly has the mind for it, we'll have to see if his feet can catch up. If they do, oh man, he will be dangerous from the back end. Defensively, from what I've read, he's been average. He doesn't project to be as good in his own zone as the opposing end, but due to his calm, cerebral play where he relies less on his skills and more on analyzing and breaking apart opposing defenses, I think he'll still be able to figure it out and be used in all situations in the NHL, especially with his size. His game isn't flashy, but he's going to be a minute muncher who can be relied upon. He's proven to be a good leader and is willing to put in the work to take it to the next step. Hopefully he can improve upon his skating, but it's apparently been an issue for a while now and they haven't seen much growth, which could ultimately be his demise. Overall, for a guy who isn't projected to go in the top seven, I think he's a decent gamble for a team looking to add some offense from the blue line in the early to mid first round. So that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like as it really helps me out knowing if I'm doing stuff right or wrong. Um, check out more of these prospect profile videos, link on screen and down in the description. And if you're new to this channel, please consider hitting subscribe. So you can watch more of these and some of my other videos. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.